All right, everybody, we're going to do a new series here. This is going to be a, a fairly quick one. We're going to talk about responsive uh, design development with uh, using the Twitter Bootstrap. Bootstrap comes with some really nice tools that are built in. Now, I've created a demo here. Uh, I've uploaded to GitHub, and I'll share that with you on Facebook and uh, YouTube and all that. But uh, it's a simple demo. Um, you can download this, run it on your own server. Uh, you can click here and open up this, which is the uh, demo. It's a fairly simple demo. I didn't want to overload it. Uh, I broke the different concepts into individual parts. Um, I know looking at Bootstrap's uh, documentation website, it's kind of hard to see some of their examples um, because they're pushing things up and down the page and uh, it's really screwy. So there's that. Now, I also added this here. This is a little tool we're, we'll use here to uh, monitor the size of the uh, browser. So if you see here, as I shrink it, it gives us an idea here of where we're at. And this will be handy when we're looking at the different rules that we can apply to the, uh, the page. So we'll get into that. Uh, the other, how I'm going to do this, since I've already built this example, we won't be writing the code for this. I'll be explaining it. Um, I've got the code here open from the GitHub, but I've also got an empty file here that I'm going to use. I'm just going to kind of copy and paste pieces and parts so you can we can look at it and dissect it without uh, looking at the rest of the document. So the first thing we'll look at are breakpoints in the uh, next video.